think everything is good. So I'm going to go ahead and start off this office vlog by saying if you guys do like this type of thing and you want to see more of it in the future, then let me know by leaving a comment down below. Um, what this series is going to be is just me and my daily, I, I would say, environment because I talked about it before. I self-isolate, but I still want to kind of do like a vloggish style video. So what I'm going to do is just show some footage of me when I tried to use the time lapse with the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. And I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of nuggets of information because I notice more so nowadays there seems to be a lot of content creators who have been, you know, subscribing to the channel who are potentially doing product reviews themselves or, you know, are just interested in possibly working with brands and stuff. And I kind of want to devote this series not only to talking about that stuff, but, you know, showing off my process and what I've been doing and everything like that. And just, I would say, the average day to day life for me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not all the fancy bells and whistles always, you know, reviewing products. If you guys have noticed, I haven't been reviewing any products really because companies haven't been contacting me. And I think it's more so of me just being brutally honest and stuff like that. Uh, even though my engagement's up. And that's why I'm gonna leave two videos down in the description who, from a person who pretty much covers what is expected, not only from you as the content creator, but what's expected from brands. So Future Squid here, I wanna go ahead and reiterate on this part is that Jess CC, I will have her videos linked in the description, like I said before, but she's even quoting right now for one photo on Instagram is like $100. And for a 60 second little integration or whatever into a video or, you know, YouTube short, whatever, people are charging, supposedly charging $300. And then for a dedicated video, that's like 10 to 20 minutes or whatever, that's going to be around $500. That's that's how much you should be getting paid. This is this is industry standards. You know what I'm saying? This is minimum wage for the work that you're putting in on your YouTube content or whatever platform you're putting on. The problem is, is that newer content creators don't know this and the companies know that you don't know this. So they're taking advantage of you. So when you access this paid or this sponsored, all that stuff, they're going to tell you that they don't have the allocated funds for it or they're not doing those kind of campaigns right now. They're just trying to send out products and they will send out products to like 20 different content creators or more to people who are smaller in I would say subscriber count because you know they have 500 to a thousand or a thousand to ten thousand subscribers and the reason why they're targeting those content creators specifically is because they know for one they haven't been doing the game that long so they don't know you know what I'm saying they don't know any better because they don't self-educate themselves and nobody's telling them these things so the second thing is is the fact that they know that your community your engagement all the stuff that you're doing and all the hard work that you're putting in they're going to be organic that meaning that the people who are watching your videos, especially if your videos are getting anywhere from 100 to 1,000 views per post or more so 1,000 views or wherever more often than not in a 30-day period, they know those people are, are, are engaging with your content. They know that the likelihood of them buying something or something like that or them receiving funds off of it, just preying on you because you don't know any better and they don't have any skin in the game because they didn't pay you for something, they know they can get that money back. You know what I'm saying? For that product that they sent out. And nine times out of 10, it's not even that most like super expensive of a product. The most expensive product I received for a dedicated video was 300 and I think like 50 something dollars or wherever. And I didn't even get paid for that video. You, you see what I'm saying? And it's like, bruh. <laughs> and that video was like 20 something minutes. So it's like, companies are are literally getting over on us smaller content creators because we don't know any better so it's time for us to arm ourselves with knowledge and wisdom and going forth and telling companies we're not accepting free products we're accepting only money and getting paid for doing our work because again we have cameras we have setups we have ways to take pictures nice cameras nice phone cameras whatever it is lighting all that stuff we're taking you know how long it takes to edit a very detailed articulated and well shot video and mine are not even there yet or whatever i've gotten compliments on my videos and i thank you guys for that but mine are not even on the level of some content creators out there even ones are around my numbers or wherever and i know for a fact they're not getting paid and they're doing a lot of work or whatever to cover products and it's just it's just crazy to me that we're allowing this to happen so again arm yourself with knowledge look at those videos in the description or wherever get paid as a content creator because you can get paid and you should be getting paid and we should not be allowing companies to get away with this don't believe a company when they sit there and tell you oh we ain't got the funds or whatever we'll tell them hey i ain't got the time then get paid
You know what I'm saying? Give, give me my money. I'm not sitting here. I'm, I'm, all you have to do is ask for minimum wage. That's pretty much all you're asking. You know what I'm saying? And again, these are industry standards because this person is an influencer. And not only that, this person works with brands or whatever to work with content creators to review products and stuff. They have the tools and the technology to see how how your videos or your posts are performing as far as getting the algorithm and getting the engagement numbers and all that stuff. So they know if you're organic and stuff like that. And like I said, some of these brands, especially in the technology field, streaming field or whatever, content creation field for products like microphones, lighting, all that stuff, these companies know for a fact that you're not educated and they're not willing to spend the money or whatever to pay you. Pay me, get paid. So definitely just check out a lot of nuggets of information down there. I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but yeah, essentially I woke up today and just went to the vape shop and stuff like that. Wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about it. I'm gonna go live stream, play some Apex Legends. There's always a link in the description to my kick page um, so you can see, but just fair warning, I do have mental issues. So if you see me over there and you know having issues and stuff like that and not having a fun time, just know that's my way of, I would say, venting and getting my frustrations out there because I like I just like playing video games. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like everybody else. I just, I just like to play video games. But again, I wanna go ahead and specify that you're a smaller content creator, know your worth, check out those videos down below. They're definitely gonna help you out 100%. With that being said, check out those links um check out the little time lapses and stuff and i'll see you guys out through my stream Oh yeah, quick disclaimer, I do wanna go ahead and say, yes, I know about the cable management and stuff like that, but I've covered it in a previous video talking about tornadoes and stuff like that and why I don't cable manage and all that stuff anymore because I had to pretty much gut this whole entire setup and my and my uh, review setup and everything like that to take all the appointment equipment with us because we left the state and everything like that because it was a really bad storm and everything. And obviously I don't want my important equipment such as cameras and certain cables needed to go with certain items. And I had to, you know, unplug my whole entire PC, take it with me, all that stuff. I'm not constantly, especially after how many times we had to do that this year alone, which was like four or five times, I'm not cable managing anything. TLDR. I'm not doing that anymore. It might look nice in some setups and stuff like that. But like I said, this is a lot of expensive equipment, even with renter's insurance and or just having, you know, the owner's insurance or whatever, whatever you want to call it, having all that stuff. I am still not trying to lose any of my gear. So, yeah, no cable management for me. I'm sorry for those people who hate it, but, you know, I have to live practically. I have to live to where it makes sense. And right now, cable managing stuff and then having to undo all those cables and you can say, oh, just buy new cables and all that stuff. You realize how much I'm going to have to be spending and everything like that on all the cables that I use because there's a lot of them. And on top of that, if something did happen to our household or something like that, all the other stuff that I might have to buy that's going to take priority over that. Why not just take the cables with the items? Just saying. So. It looks like we are good to go with another video. I just finished uh, letting something render or whatever for the Sony ZV-10 Mark II talking about the whole um, HDMI and USB, you know, updated video or wherever. So I'm going to let that go. Um, people are probably not going to receive that well because, you know, I talked kind of bad about like commenters and people, but it's just like 
look, dude, I have mental issues. You know what I'm saying? And when I try to do a video or wherever, I try to cover all aspects and I try to put my stuff out there like clear and concise. And I feel like I did in that video. So that's why I'm kind of little peeved. And this is kind of like a perfect example of why I don't go out and vlog. And that's why it's going to just be office vlogs because me going out, even with the older vlogs that I did, there was instances that y'all didn't see behind the scenes when I was vlogging and recording and stuff that just my interactions with humans, man, I had people like watching me from behind and stuff like that before. I don't know if they were interested in me like taking photos of them or something like that because I had cameras, but they just had these creepy smiles like families or wherever were just creepy smiles watching me or wherever. And it's just like, bro, I'm not taking your photos. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here doing my own thing, this whole big park or wherever, and y'all coming closer and closer. So I just packed my stuff up in that video and left. Um, another instance was when my son was born and I was doing a vlog for that. Um, I went to the parking lot or wherever, trying to record stuff, grabbing stuff in the car, had somebody stop me midway or wherever. And it was like, yo, you know, do you have this, that, and third or wherever? And it's like, oh, you have a fancy camera, but you don't have this, that, and third and all this stuff. And I'm just like, bro, like that's, that's the thing I don't, I don't want to get into too many uh, things or whatever, but there's this weird thing or whatever that I've never really liked. And it's because of the color of my skin or whatever people think automatically because, you know, we're the same color or the same race, whatever you want to call it, um, ethnicity or whatever. They think that you, I could just talk to you, you know what I'm saying, any kind of way and you're going to be OK with that. I just automatically assume that, you know, what I'm saying you're some kind of uh, hood person or something. And it's like, bro, I'm i'm not like that you know what i'm saying at, like at all i'm not you know down to sit there and have a conversation with you i don't know you you don't know me and you're talking out of the side of your neck as old people used to say and stuff and i'm just like bro just like just you know what i'm saying just like leave me alone like why you need to feel the need to interact with me you know, you know what i'm saying and it's just that's why i don't really like going out and vlogging and that's why i've said multiple times there's no reason to get you know these kind of cameras that have ibis and stuff because you could get like a gopro action camera the dji pocket osmo 3 or wherever and stuff like that and vlog and not really bring attention to yourself and that's why i think the sony zv e10 mark ii is for content creators like me you know what i'm saying and doing these office vlogs and being able to use time lapse because i've been filling with that and everything being able to have you know the quality of the camera and stuff like that I do think it's going to be an elevation for the content so I'm going to keep on exploring using it in different unique scenarios and stuff and after this I'm going to record my thoughts and opinions on the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II after having it for a month but I do think it's a really good camera man and like I said I'm going to keep on using it for these office vlogs kind of things so again if you're interested in this or wherever and you found this video kind of um I don't want to say useful, but if you found it interesting or whatever, and you want me to keep on kind of doing this thing every now and then, there's really no point to this kind of video. It's just me talking about possibly like random stuff that, you know, I found out about the camera or something like that, or equipment that I use to do content creation, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of every now and then documenting, you know, stuff that I do in the office while I'm chilling in between kind of like behind the scenes kind of stuff. And I don't know, maybe somebody's interested in that stuff check out the relevant i would say links down in the description if you are interested in that stuff that i talked about at the beginning of the video and with that being said hopefully you guys can continue to have a squid task today i'm gonna go and probably render this part start editing stuff and then talk about my thoughts of the sony zv e10 mark ii over the mark one and why i like it and everything after having it for a month i'm probably going to sit here and record that video as well so yeah i'll catch you guys uh in the next one Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. Deuces, everybody. Much love.